cat with the green sensor. Hi, cat. Anytime you're ready, honey. Okay. Hello, Free Spirit Podcast. <laughs> Okay? I had no idea when I got pregnant all the hoops and freaking loops I would have to jump through to try to find a way to have a baby that isn't registered with the state and still get the health care that I need because you know what? I didn't learn about women's health. I didn't learn about children, you know, growing in my stomach when I went through public education. I didn't talk to them and say, sex is bad, don't have sex, sex is bad, you're going to get gonorrhea, you're going to get syphilis, sex is bad, sex is bad, sex is bad, sex is bad, and all of a sudden, boom, I'm pregnant. And you know what? I didn't know what to do. And I had to research, and I had to talk, and I had to explore. And I watched this horrible documentary called The Business of Being Born. It was actually a really good documentary. Where they go through and they show these babies being born in hospitals compared to babies being born at home. And these babies born in hospitals, they're, they're you know, taken out of their mom and swapped around. And these doctors have these masks on and they're screaming and they're crying. And it just seems absolutely terrifying. And then you watch these babies born at home where they go straight to their mother's arms and it's like they're waking up slowly into this new beautiful world. And it made me realize there's a medical industrial complex that I could potentially bring my child into the world through is fucked up. <laughs> so we did our research and we decided, you know what, we're going to have our kid at home. We're going to have a water birth and we're going to have a midwife there. We don't need a doctor and there's nothing that's going to happen to the Do not want my child to become a warden of the state. I don't want to allow my child. 